Truth is not only the content of truth, it's the life of integrity of truthfulness. Truth means we have the readiness to obey. We have the integrity to commit to truth. We are opposed to deception and dishonesty. We don't have loose ends dangling and and out there to trip us up. Now, where did this belt come from? Salvation starts us in this process of truth girding our lives. Knowing the truth saves us. In fact, you're in Ephesians. Let's go back to uh, the Gospel by John real quickly. Look at chapter 8. The Gospel by John, chapter 8. Jesus explains salvation and, and the power of God. And he looked at a group of people that were, were appearing to be religious but had never come to know God personally. And he looks at them and says this. Knowing the truth is how you are saved. John 8, 32. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. That was interesting. In my class this week of the 80 kids, they said, how do we know we're really saved? I said, have you been set free from the slavery to your sin? And one of them raised their hand. You know, the translator, for those that were not English speakers, the translator said what I said. And I saw it register. One of them raised their hand. And they said, did you say that it's more than just praying a prayer? And I, the translator, heard it and then said that to me. And I said, no, I didn't. Jesus did. And it got really quiet. And Jesus said that. He said, it's not those that say, Lord, Lord, it's those that do the will of my Father. He said, it's not just you saying that you're in, but if you know the truth, verse 32, the truth, not you, I can't set myself free. I can't stop. I'm an inveterate sinner from birth. But God's truth sets me free if I've truly embraced him and know the truth. Truth is a person. Keep going to chapter 17, or we'll never get done. Chapter 17, Jesus says the same thing. By the way, John is when he introduced Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. And so the book and the Johannine books are all about truth. But look at verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they may know you, the only true God, the only God of truth. Satan is a father of lies. You're the true God. You're the living God. You're the God of truth, the spirit of truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. We receive the truth of the word, which saves our souls. But verse 3 says this. Knowing the truth saves us. This is life eternal, that they may know you, the only true God, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Salvation is knowing the truth, and that saves us. Salvation starts us in truth. We're saved by truth.